Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on how to do animation here in GIMP. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do um, text animation, but this will work with uh, uh, photos. Um, if you have um, different types of photos that you want to animate. so um, Or you could also do it with um, drawings, like um, like cartoon drawings or stuff like that. So, But I'm just going to show you how to do like a like a animated uh, text layer or a um, bunch of text layers um, that you could use on your website if you have a website or um, those along those ideas so anyway uh, we have a uh, uh, thing open here um, just go to where the text tool thing is right here and let's just you can type in whatever you want Let, you know, I'll just type in um, GIMP animation and let's make that a little bit bigger it doesn't have to you can actually have it situated wherever you want like you can have it up either the corners in the middle or up or down what, what like however you want it um, you, you can actually um, situate the uh, your text uh, anywhere you want so now we uh, uh, we actually have a text layer right here now what you want to do is go over here and um, you can just leave it named um, GIMP animation for the um, name and um, what you want to do is um, hit the space bar and go to um, hit the bracket and just put them however many milliseconds that you want I think this represents about a second a thousand ms I think represents about a second um, in true time and um, all you do you just put 1000 ms enter now what we want to do is duplicate that so you go down here where it says create um, a duplicate of the layer and um, so you can't um, like is like is um, is situated in the same area and the same uh, color and everything. So what what we're going to do with the second layer? Right click and go down to where it says Alpha to Selection. Now we actually have um, all the letters are highlighted. Now we're going to choose a color. Let's go with this really bright green, and we're just going. I'm going to go down to here to my brushes, and let's make the brush uh, double boats, the, double the size, and we're going to um, paint. You could also use the the uh, bucket fill tool, but it, it might take a little bit longer uh, since you have to do each letter. But see, painting. Um, using your um, your um, brush tool right here, your paintbrush tool, um, you can actually get it done probably quicker. So we actually have um, it now green. Now just go to, excuse me, select none, duplicate um, duplicate um, that layer, and do the same thing. Over to, to uh, selection. Now we're going to change the color. Let's go to this red right here, and let's paint it this cool red. You can also, um, you can also, uh, if you want to, I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to try it here myself. Duplicate that layer, and over to selection again. And what we're going to do is, let's change this uh, white to um, this blue. And instead of using the instead of using the paintbrush, we're going to use the blend tool. And we're going to uh, blend the two colors like that. Let's actually try it from that corner, see what that looks like. Um, you can actually just play around with however you want it try it from the bottom corner and we're going to go with the f first one and select none 
Now we are we have them all at uh, one thousand milliseconds, uh, as you can see here. And what we're going to do is to view uh, the playback, uh, to to view it um, changing color from from layer to layer. Go up to where it says filters. Go down to where it says animation. Whoops, animation. Then go down to where it says playback and as you can see let's make that full uh, as you can see the uh, first layer is the uh, background which is which I have white but you can actually have this transparent if you want if you don't want um, a color background um, say it's for um, a website and say uh, your background the area where you want to text is uh, not white, so you can actually have this uh, transparent um, where you can just have the text. Uh, so uh, all you do is just go back to the layer and and just um, don't like just hit the uh, delete on your uh, keyboard. Go towards these play, and it should play all the different colors. As you can see, is um, changing from. Uh, um, the, the first layer goes from black, and then green, red, and the uh, blend uh, colors. You can actually add, speed this up if you want. Uh, maybe instead of a thousand milliseconds, change it to five hundred milliseconds, which is about half a second, and it'll probably go faster and faster and faster. To make it go slower, all you do is just increase the um, where it says one thousand to. So you want a five th say you want a five seconds that that would probably slow it down or ten thousand milliseconds or whatever. All you do is you change the um like the number right here to whatever number you you want. So anyway, that's how you do like um, a text animation like here if you want to uh, put on your website. Um, you can do that. Uh, you can like I said, you can do you can play around with pictures too. Um. Um, add different things to um, a picture um, animation and all you do uh, to save it go up to go up to uh, where it says file go to where it says export do, 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 do. And, and all you do you just title it right up here um, you select um, where you want to save it don't go down to where it says export yet. Go down to where it says select file type by extension. And what you want to do is go to where it says GIF, G-I-F image. And click export. Whoops. I have to name it, I guess. I'll just put G-I, I'll just put GIMP export and this is this is before before you click the final export button make sure you check this box where it says as animation you want that box checked is like by default is is actually it looks like this you you have to check this if you want to um play it back as an animation because if you don't it would just be probably the first layer in um, in a um, picture format instead of an animation format. So, and uh, you don't have to worry about um, any of these other ones. You can play around with these settings. Um, a delay between frames were unspecified. Um, like I don't I don't bother uh, I don't bother uh, touching any of these. And all you do you just click the export button and. That's it. So um, I hope this is um, help um, people out there uh, wondering how to do animation here in GIMP, and um, we'll work on our next tutorial on uh, how to make your own brushes here in GIMP. And um, soon um, I'm going to be doing a Pinnacle 18 Ultimate um, tutorial uh, since I recently got that. Um, um, fairly recently, maybe a week or a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I haven't done any tutorials on the Pinnacle software um, thing 
for the new Pinnacle 18 and, uh, Ultimate, so uh, I'll be doing, uh, stay tuned for that, and um, uh, I haven't uh, even began to record anything about um, Pinnacle 18, but um, I'll be working on a tutorial sometime in, hopefully in the next couple weeks or so, if, if not sooner. And, uh, but like I said, uh, hopefully the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do brushes, how to make your own uh, brushes here in GIMP and uh, save them and everything. So that's how you do uh, animation here in uh, GIMP. And uh, like I said, stay tuned for the next uh, tutorial, probably on how to do brushes here in GIMP. Hope this has helped. Thank you very much. Have a good day.